Jacob Reese Moggs sticks it to Cranky. This was an interview with Jacob Reese Mogg on Sky News. And what we need to do is to hold Miss Sturgeon to account for the failings of the Scottish Government to deliver services for the people of Scotland. And when she's waffling on endlessly about having a referendum and going to the Supreme Court and all of this, we need to be saying, hold on, you're doing this because you are failing to deliver for the people of Scotland and the United Kingdom Government will have to deliver for the people of Scotland. Many people don't like Jacob Rees-Mogg and I get it. He's very posh, he's very well educated, he's very wealthy. Let me tell you something about Jacob Rees-Mogg. He's the only person in the Commons who doesn't claim any expenses because he accepts that he's got plenty of money, so he pays his staff and everybody else out of his own money. He doesn't claim any expenses, which I think is admirable because plenty of them are wealthy and they all claim expenses except for him. On top of that, I love the fact he's got a straight talking approach to everything he doesn't mess around even though he does it in a polite way he means to be insulting and in this interview here he's clearly being insulting to Sturgeon and he's absolutely right about the main point he made which is Westminster needs to start holding the SNP to account instead of simply handing out more and more and more money they need to start looking where this money's going properly the problem, of course, as I've said before, is Westminster's making because they've allowed the SNP to get away with whatever they damn well please for so long now, they literally believe their own hype, they believe they're untouchable, and they believe that no matter what they ever do, Westminster will not touch them, and that has to stop. Otherwise, nothing will ever improve for Scotland or its people. Whoever the next Prime Minister is, I would like to see them make Jacob Rees-Bogg Secretary of State for Scotland and that way he's got every right to go through the books, he's got every right to see where Westminster money is going. At the moment of course both candidates have spoken about Scotland, Liz Trust quite robustly, Sunak said he would bypass Holyrood but we can't believe any of this really, a lot of it's lip service and we don't know what's going to come true but I believe that Jacob, Jacob Rees-Mogg is a doer and he would get things done if told to. If he was told to go through those books with a fine tooth comb and find out where UK taxpayer money is going, then he would be able to find it. Let's hope somebody actually takes on this mantle and does it in a proper way where the SNP can finally be held to account with this new government that is certainly coming down the road.